Today, we celebrate International Women's Day, a day to reflect and imagine a world free of gender bias, stereotypes, and discrimination, a world that's diverse, equitable, and inclusive. The focus proposed for this year's Women's Day by UN Women, a member of the Center's Advisory Council, is Digital, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. The theme is aligned with the Commission on the Status of Women, the largest annual gathering on gender equality and women's empowerment. The Commission is meeting right now, from March 6th to the 17th, where they will discuss innovation and technological change in depth. So what does this have to do with sport and human rights? Everything. As we all know, technology can be both an unprecedented opportunity for women's empowerment and gender equality, while at the same time, a major threat to women's safety and well-being. At the Center for Sport and Human Rights, we have observed the important role played by technology, particularly during the pandemic, to, where it was used to keep girls engaged in online sports programs, as well as give them an opportunity to remain both active and connected to their support networks during a challenging moment for everyone's physical and mental well-being. But we are also observing the practice of violence and harassment against women athletes online all over the world. Just recently, World Athletics conducted a study after the Tokyo Olympic Games, which found that 87% of all online abuse was targeted at female athletes, despite it being the most gender balanced games on record. In the 2022 World Athletics Championship, female athletes received 60% of all online abuse via Twitter and Instagram, and half of that were sexualizing women. The content of the abuse reveals misogyny, homophobia, transphobia, and racism. And this goes against the fundamental human rights of equality, non-discrimination, safety and security, and the highest attainable standards of mental health, privacy, and freedom from all forms of violence. Solutions to this online abuse is something the Center for Sport and Human Rights is looking at very closely in 2023. As a starting point, this should involve efforts from everyone across the sports ecosystem. So what could that look like? Well, for example, Sports bodies, safeguarding policies, and gender training should look to incorporate prevention and response to all forms of online violence against women. Education campaigns targeted at fans can be present at offline and online touch points during sporting events. The media can invest in increasing the number of women journalists and editors and review their portrayal and editorial guidelines to tackle gender stereotypes. And finally, governments and local organizing committees could look into creating task forces to prevent online abuse against athletes, investigate and punish the perpetrators, and provide gender responsive support, remedy, and justice for victims. The world we want to see is one where all women, including women athletes, are free to access digital platforms and express themselves online. It's where media and content producers celebrate their talent, effort, and diversity. And it's where technology is used to advance gender equality in all areas of life, including in sport.